it has some mind-boggling things going on here. Look at these values, man. They are absolutely insane. Well, would you look at the time? It's time for another reaction video. Hello and welcome, this is Philip, and today we're gonna be reacting to yet another amazing artist suggested by one of the comments in my channel. Uh, thank you for that. We're gonna be reacting to the immaculate, pristine art of Zin Chin. That's right. These artist names are getting weirder and weirder, aren't they? But I guess you can say the same thing for my name. Anyhow, Zin Chin is a freelance illustrator and concept artist from Malaysia. We're gonna be unveiling the deepest secrets of his art. So let's do it. So I have here with me his art station page. If you take a look here at one of his older works, you can see that he worked on Legend of the Cryptids. I feel like if you have a commission to work on Legend of the Cryptids, you made it as an artist, man. You made it. You're, you're out there. Because if you take a look at uh, all, all the artwork for Legend of the Cryptids, it's one of the most amazing, incredible arts from only the best artists out there the industry has to offer. So if you manage to land a commission there, you made it, in my opinion. Now there's an argument to be made uh, about the game in and of itself. I only know it's a card game. I don't know what the game is like. I only know it has incredible artwork. Only thing I can say about this is that it's goddamn good art, if you know what I mean. This piece I think is amazing because it has some mind-boggling things going on here. Yes, indeed, I agree. And it's like a paradox. How would I explain this? It has that very sophisticated desaturation, but also at the same time that very vibrant, colorful feel to it. It's really low in contrast, but at the same time, it has really good values. And it's one of the most mind-boggling styles I've seen. When you look at just his brushwork in and of itself, is it's very low in detail, it's very smooth surfaces. But at the same time, there's a lot of detail in the bigger picture. This is an artist with a lot of control. CONTROL! What is really noteworthy about this art is like his absolute madman control of his when do I desaturate colors and when do I saturate it a little bit? Or what colors do I use in contrast to make them seem saturated in comparison to desaturated colors? And that is really the trick what really makes his art is also that he has really interesting lighting and light directions. It's just to show you that you don't have to have like super hyper details in every corner of your painting. If you really have interesting lighting, that's gonna tell you a lot more than all the forced detail you're trying to put in there. As you can see in this artwork, I feel like Zin Chin has done a lot of still life studies with a lot of different lighting angles. And it's a really good way to train knowing how lighting works. If you study still life with different lighting angles, you can put it up here, you can put it down there, you can left, and you can see how an object reacts to lighting in different various different angles. And that's how you get to his point, making very, very interesting lighting like he does. So this is one really good example of what I already explained that just to show you how much lighting controls the mood, narrative, feel, everything. Lighting can change everything about your painting. If this painting was clear daylight, it wouldn't be as ominous as it looks right now, right? Now, I like this piece a lot because there's a lot of narrative going on. Everything tells a story. The room she's in, the girl with the book, the way she's sitting, the clothes she's wearing, the thing that she's holding, this cauldron she's using. All the objects in the room tell a story, tell something about the world she's living in. And it makes us curious. It makes us wonder and it makes us interested. And that's what great art is supposed to do eventually, right? You can also see like a, a process like the sketch for the grid for the idea get the idea out first figure out the local colors to see how it's gonna look like in its most rudimentary state Be very basic lighting roughly paint everything uh, one by one in divide everything into sections and then really define every part of it until it looks good and the end of course is just make it look fucking good right Xin Chin as an artist to me feels like that part in Powerpuff Girls when you hear Sugar, spice, and everything nice. And then boom, you create Powerpuff Girls, right? For me, Zichin is like... Values. Colors. 
and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create Zinchen. But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Cool style. In the most simplistic way I can explain it, it just feels so good on my eyeballs, man. His art style feels good, genuinely good on my eyeballs. It's something you look at and it feels good. Like, ah. If you have that effect as an artist, you're doing something right. If you look at this piece, for example, I can't help but just, let's go to Photoshop. Let's analyze it. Let's dissect it. Let's go dot gain 20%, see the values. Look at these values, man. They are absolutely insane. Your eye instantly goes here to what's most important, the character, that a clothing and that face instantly draws your attention. Then what's next? This face, this thing. He navigates your eye to what's important. A lot of contrast, dark background versus the light character. Contrast here in the background, light versus dark part of the leg. Darker areas here versus light clothing, light object versus dark background makes everything pop out everything you want to tell as a story in your painting is going to pop out and be clear i feel if you want to work on your style and you really want to cultivate your style make art of things that truly interest you and that will seep through your artwork people will notice i don't know zichin but i feel like he's creating art that truly interests him like that cultural folklore thing that's going on in most of his artwork i feel like he has such a great interest for that your passion is gonna seep through your artwork do that and you're guaranteed you're you're gonna cultivate your style and it's gonna be your own unique style as distinct as any other pros you're seeing and i feel like zichin is doing exactly that all right, guys, that's going to be it for now. I'll post a link of his art if you want to see more of it in the description down below. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.